Okay, hello everyone. Uh, I know I haven't made a video in a while, and uh, there's a reason why, and I wanted to explain it to you guys. So, I'm pretty sure I have a thyroid problem. I'm not sure I'm saying that correctly. Thyroid, thyroid gland right over here. And uh, it makes me very tired all the time, and I lack concentration, so it's it's hard for me to make these videos even though I had the intention of, of uh, making a lot of them I usually lack concentration and I start setting up my things and then I just realized that uh, I just want to go and have a nap because I'm too tired um, the reason why I think I might have a thyroid problem is because uh, first of all in the past I have taken Accutane which is a drug uh, that's supposed to help acne so I had to take that when I was a teenager and uh, the worst thing is I took about three years ago I took finasteride and I really didn't want to take that medication probably shouldn't have and I took it for a month and half of the recommended medication that you're supposed to take and I've been having a ton of sy symptoms since then so I can't imagine that some people have been taking that medication for over like five, ten years. That for me is crazy because I'm <laughs> just taking half of the medication for for a month has totally ruined my life. So, and uh, also, I, I now believe I have thyroid problems. I, I used to think it was mostly adrenal fatigue, but um, from what I've read. Um, Adrenal fatigue is also related to thyroid problems, and since the thyroid creates a lot of hormones, and hormones manage all your the way your body works, it, it sends mes messages to all your different organs to do their job properly. I think that's probably why I have problems digesting, problems um, concentrating, all those different things. So I just wanted to read a list of symptoms of thyroid problems and uh, so maybe you guys can know if you have a thyroid problem or not. <laughs> I'm hoping to help you guys as well because I probably will start uh, treatment to try and help my thyroid. I'm a little bit scared because I've tried so many things in the past. I'm just afraid I'm gonna do something that's not gonna help again because I, I've done a lot of things in the past uh, like um, cleanses and things like that that have messed up my health as well so it's one thing after the other and I'm, I'm trying to <laughs> to help myself but it, it's not easy so okay uh, so some of the symptoms are thinning outer eyebrows which I don't think is the case for me at all because my eyebrows seem kind of alright I think um, cold feet, cold hand and feet um, that is also not the case for me <laughs> I don't know I'm giving you guys examples but they're not those are not uh, no, related to my problems but I know some people that have thyroid problems do have cold hands and feet um, Third symptom is uh, being tired all the time, being depressed, and that is totally the case for me. Um, I do feel like I could nap. Well, what's strange is because my energy levels kind of go up and down, up and down all the time. So once, one second I might feel like I have a ton of energy, and then I feel sleepy, and I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's hard to explain, I guess. But I never feel totally rested. Um, puffy eyelids that's not I don't think that might be I don't think that's the case for me uh, difficulty absor absorbing vitamins uh, kind of your body shutting down your, your metabolic rate slows down I do believe that's the case for me um, yeah it also has influenced my digest digestion a lot um, I do have a small belly, which I've never had before, even though I'm far from being fat. Uh, I do have problems digesting food. so, And I've never had a belly before, which is not a big deal. But uh, I, I, I kind of always feel it being there and kind of plays on my concentration. And not 
in a way that in a superficial way like oh why why do i have a small belly it's so so annoying i don't want that it's really not that bad really it's, it's very very small but it, it's just kind of always sensing that it's there and it's probably because the food doesn't digest as well even though i'm i'm i tried fruitarianism and i'm mostly fruitarian um like pretty much any diet that i could have tried i would or i did try um doesn't help so and this is the best diet that helps so far um yeah small teeth indentations uh on my on your tongue and that's the case for me i do have small indentations on my tongue um liturgy uh difficulty absorbing protein that's probably the case <laughs> i do also notice that i have a lot of problems absorbing oil uh the second i do take some oil I, I kind of feel it stuck in my mouth i don't know how to explain it that's why i usually have very minimal amounts of oil or no oil at all because it, it gets kind of gross and i used to think that's because i had problems digesting that kind of like the it's gross to say but th that the food would come up or the liquid would come up but then i guess i had I, I i'd still uh, no taste of food which was not the case but now i have a feeling that probably because my thyroid gland is, is so inflamed that i get the water retain retention right over here and um probably causes me to have a lot of saliva and a lot of tension also also right over here about since i'm 20 so since uh, at least 12 years now i've had like i don't know like my neck is a little bigger here but not really i, I don't know i'm not really sure anyways uh if i had thyroid problems but i'm pretty sure i do i'm getting tested right now but uh yeah i, I just have a feeling that since i have problems with my thyroid like the inflammation that's probably why there's a lot of um a lot of water retention it's kind of my body trying to to help me out with the with the water in that area so that's probably why i have a lot of saliva um what else what else um hair loss and uh yeah thinning dry hair uh that's totally the case for me and it uh it's been for a while that's probably why i've had thyroid problems since i'm 20 most, most probably um yeah especially in front right over here uh i usually wear a cap a lot and um try to place my hair <laughs> in certain ways but um yes um yeah so that's that's oh i know for some people also they have problems losing weight uh that's obviously not the case for me so i guess i don't necessarily have all of the symptoms and i know there's probably a whole lot more symptoms comes from what i've read like thyroid problems they pretty like i said the fact that they create hormones so they influence like your liver they influence your your adrenals they influence your digestion so it's your body's not sending the message to all your organs to do the work properly so you don't run up feeling all right so uh, i know also yeah thyroid problems some people have like extremely big like goiter <laughs> i don't have goiter so that's that's good so right now i'm getting tested um i got some blood tests done and uh, decided to start working with don bennett to 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 see how everything goes um i have ordered two tests by mail that are supposed to be sent here um, in canada this the tests are from the u.s and uh, to check on my thyroid, to check on my iodine levels. And uh, it's good also that I had the blood test done because the last blood test I had done was like uh, t two and a half years ago, something like that. So just gonna check to see if that everything else is also all right. And uh, was lucky enough that, because um, two and a half years ago when I did have the test done, um, was very hard because the doctors didn't really want to help out and um, this year uh, I was thinking in my head oh my goodness I want to have all these tests done so I'm gonna have to go from one doctor to the other to 
And, uh, oh, my screen. Hey. Ah. Is it still taping? Taping? Yeah, that's good. It's still typing. Recording. Um, so yeah, it worked pretty well this year. The first doctor I, I met, uh, she, I told her I've been vegan for five years and uh, I kind of lied out like, oh, my extremities are cold, which was not the case. And I have uh, difficulty concentrating, concentrating and that it's the truth. Um, but uh, she was like, oh, okay, you're vegan. Oh, I might as well do all the tests because she was kind of scared. But like two and a half years ago, uh, most people that I asked, most doctors were like, um, no, no, just take a multivitamin, blah, 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 uh, eat meat again, or whatever. As if, like, everyone that had thyroid problems were vegan, you know? It's really stupid, because most people that have thyroid problems aren't vegan, so. Anyways, um, so yeah, I will keep you guys posted about uh, and my thyroid and uh it really annoys me because i wanted this channel to be a little bit a little bit more fun but i just have a feeling that right now uh i'm going towards um like if i start the iodine treatments and everything which i hope will work because uh with all the things that i've tried in the past i'm really tired tired mentally physically tired like long term because i've tried so many things but uh yeah we'll see how it goes and I will keep you guys posted and hopefully you can help me out if you know someone that has thyroid problems and maybe with my experience I can help you guys out as well uh, yeah in the past I, I've always been someone that, that that tries to do everything on my own and I did decide to go and work with someone that, that is specialized in thyroid problems because I'm tired right now <laughs> So yeah, I need someone's help because uh, even though I've read a lot of things and everything, my memory is not uh, very good, so my concentration is not very good, and uh, I do need the help. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking now. Uh, I guess I kind of have a boost of energy, so that's probably why a lot of people sometimes doubt that I have thyroid problems, but I know I do. I, I, know, I, I'm pre I know I have a problem, that's for sure, but uh, let's hope it's, it's that so I can cure myself. So, thank you very much, you guys. Have a nice day. Bye.